Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yoish. You're a masochist. Oh my god. You distracted me. I almost got squished. But. I mean, you're not wrong. I guess. <laughs> Wait, have you ever heard of the BDS M-Pest? No. Is there a BD- Why is there a BDS M-Test? And are you about to send it to me? Because I'll take it. We did the chimp test. I'm kind of scared of a BDSM test. Like, what does that consist of? Oh god. Select mode? Why does it say select mode? Select mode. I'll open it. What kind of- what is that? What did that say? Let's test the kink out of you. You said you take it. Oh, I will. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Should I do it now? I'm in the middle of a run! I'm in the middle of a run! I'll take it, though. I'll 100% take it. I will take anything. When this run dies, okay. Is that a question in the BDSM test? Will I take it? Oh, dude, look at all these hired hands. You get fucking, like... What is it? 50k, dude? This thing's gonna kick my ass. Hold on. Woo! Oh shit. <laughs> I told you it was gonna kick my ass. Oh, I thought it was gonna land on the tree though. Fuck. That's okay. <laughs> that was me trying. It's okay, okay, okay. Let's take this kink test or King test time. Oh god, your chat is so big. Chat is so big. Start new BDSM test? I'll just take it anonymously. Is that question one? Like, how open are you to this? <laughs> oh, I pinky promise I'm not a robot. Is that how you spell pinky? I don't think so. Whoa. Basic info? I am a male. I am 27. I am in Colorado. Homo flexible? What? I think, wait, well, I don't know what, heterosexual is a straight, right? Potato watch this shit. <laughs> no, nobody watch this. I hope nobody's watching this right now. Nobody should be watching this whatsoever. This is, this is highly inappropriate. Most people that watch me are probably too young. Too young. Just kidding. I don't know if that's true. Wait, so strictly had a straight that's straight, right? Because yes, I have two children. I've I've denied giving a guy my phone number before. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer a short and simple test with reasonable accuracy. No, we need Mac accuracy. What the fuck? Recommend it if you're strong. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm strongly into BDSM, but are we are we doing maximum accuracy because that's what i'm going to do show all questions recommended if you're unsure i mean yeah why would i want to skip any questions test count this is my first time first time i believe this is safe for work 100 percent neutral this okay easy how many questions are there Oh, look at that. There's only like five questions. There's only like five questions. Easy. You just got five. Oh, hello, Helm Gaming. I am doing a BDSM test at the moment. Don't look. But you just got, wait, 506, any percent, no teleporter? Wait, that's nuts. That's like seven minutes shorter than your last time. Oh, no. <laughs> there are multiple pages. Uh oh. What does dominated mean? I like to be dominated. I don't think I like that. Like three minutes? Yeah, that's a huge that's a huge improvement. Congratulations. What exactly hold on. What's the definition of domin not domination, not dominoes? Let me be dumb for a second. 
like I don't think I like that but like if somebody do you like having do you like people having control in the bed I mean like I, I'm like indifferent like I it's just whatever happens happens I'd say no opinion I'd say no opinion on that one honestly like it's really up to the other person <laughs> that's like such a lame answer <laughs> <laughs> I like receiving pain. Uh Yes. I do like okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I do like like if if, if not like I don't know, dude. It's hard to explain cuz I don't like it when bitches have those long nails that kind of scares me. But if a bitch has long nails and scratches me during the the sex time and i get like all fucked up and like bleeding i love that i'm obsessed with that he gets up 40 4 30 i think you can like you just took off three minutes just take off another three i bet you can get sub 130 dude what the fuck i prefer to make the sexual decisions from a partner no that's also like uh eh. like like if she told me like you need to be in control i'd be like whatever and kind of be like meh but if she was like i need to be in control i'd be like okay whatever <laughs> thank you massage i told you i was a massage mas whatever that word is i don't mind a little playful resistance for my partner in the end i'll win anyway ew i don't like that little part i'll do a little slightly no just because of that i'll win anyway like, if, if it was just, I don't mind a little painful resistance and it just stopped there, I'd be like, kind of, eh. I like forcing my partner. No, that's a no. I don't like it. I don't like doing it, uh, but I'm willing to do it. So I guess that's like... Like, and that's only because of that one koala girl that one time. <laughs> Feeling physically overpowered is one of the most liberating sexual feelings. What does that mean? Like, he'll win Koala Girl? Yes, Koala Girl. Hold on. Wait, what? What do you. <laughs> no, no, no holding on. No holding on. Wait, what does feeling physically overpowered. Does that mean she's like. Does that mean like Amazon position? Is that what that means? I'll tell you that uh, if you answer my question, getting dominated? Yes. <laughs> she's a complete control oh then yes i mean i don't like if if that bitch ties me up though i'd be like okay stop but yeah my dream is to just kind of lay there and not do anything absolutely <laughs> i would like to have sex with multiple people at the same time uh it depends so i'd say like kind of eh well and that's the thing when when my ex was like starting to cheat on me and open our relationship we were talking about threesomes and it like never happened but yeah orgy i mean i've thought about it oh no nah. <laughs> i've thought about it but like i just know like like it, it, it would just have to be with people that i knew i feel like which is a weird thing to say but i feel like it had or maybe not new but like I feel like I'd have to meet them beforehand, like I, c I couldn't show up to a random orgy. Also yeah, so koala girl, <laughs> there was this girl that I met, she was like really really fat, in the nicest way possible. <laughs> I shouldn't say really really fat, but she was definitely like one of the, <laughs> one of the biggest girls I've ever like not that it even matters but th th this is just where my mindset was this is when i was like i was literally 20 i had just started drinking how much we talking um uh i don't know not like i mean i wouldn't say obese but like getting there like definitely definitely overweight but not like heart condition not like walmart scooter you know just like like, if you call her obese, that's, like, rude, but it's not, like, wrong. 
<laughs> like, it's just like getting there. It's like basically as close to obese as you can get without being obese. <laughs> you got me weak? Oh, good, sorry. <laughs> well, so, so I was having this like party because my dad was out of town. And this is when I had just started drinking and I was still like, I was only slightly underage. <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> oh, good. Um, and um, I, I don't know, all, all these people showed up and this one dude showed up because I only wanted to, I was trying to sleep with this other girl at the time. So she showed up and then she actually invited this dude who ended up inviting like four other girls. Right, so we're all like getting super smashed and one of the girls that came was a super fat girl and she was like just non-stop flirting with me the whole time, the whole time while I was trying to hit on this other girl that I originally invited over. Whatever, long story short, everybody left except for this, this fat girl. Uh, oh wait, no, that's not what happened. The fat girl left early, but I gave her my number because I was really drunk. And I thought I wouldn't get laid by that one girl that I was trying to lay at the time. So I was like, yeah, fuck it, let's text. And I was texting her, but I did end up sleeping with the girl that I wanted to. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, so... So I, 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 did, I, I did succeed in the mission. And then the next day, I was texting this fat girl still. This was like in my sluttiest phase of my entire life, by the way. <laughs> in case you haven't in case you can't tell already um but yeah and then um i was texting her texting her texting her and she was like no you're like super hot she actually was like she she was very like that is definitely the most intense like person i've ever texted she was very like no like you are so hot like i definitely want to like fuck you and like pull like she was very open about it Hey, oh, no shame. <laughs> Fucking slut. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was texting her and, 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 she, and she was saying stuff like, like, what's your safety word? Which was kind of like a red flag now that I look back on it. No, I was definitely a slut. I was a man slut. And that's the problem is when I first got promoted at Domino's, I was 100% using that because people would think that I would like treat them better. Or like give them better deliveries if they slept with me but i would just i would still do my job normally <laughs> and i i would just sleep with all the drivers <laughs> at domino's <laughs> and so <laughs> and so yeah um she wasn't trying to cut me w boss i mean i i've gotten i i'm basically the best boss ever you're right but uh <laughs> yeah she, she she was like what's your safety word and i was like i don't i don't know like what does that mean she's like oh you'll you'll be fine then and i was like okay and so i i invited her over we had some four locos she like brought up this like play that include the dudes no i didn't sleep with any i've never slept with a boy i've never even kissed a boy i mean maybe my dad but like not like since i was like a child probably is there like a so we watched this movie it's like a metal it was like a metal musical i don't remember what it was but there was like a medical musical on medical music what med metal musical on netflix that we watched to like get us in the move you never kiss your son oh I kiss my son like all the time, so I guess you're right. I didn't think about that. I do kiss my son all the time. I kissed him tonight in going to bed. <laughs> I do kiss him every night. That I see him. I guess sometimes I don't see him anymore because he's at their mother's house, but still. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh. I. Uh, now I'm lost. Oh, so yeah, we, we watched this metal metal musical. I wish I could remember, but it was super weird because I, I don't know. Well, I'm sure I've talked about it before, but I'm not the biggest fan of musicals. Which, weird because I'm a huge music fan. I'm not the biggest fan of musicals. Um, and it kind of turned me off, but I I was like, we were, we had four locos. We were just getting fucking schwaced. My dad was still out of town. Um, 
and she, eventually we started like making out or whatever and getting to the down to the dirty deeds. He's at a bigger slut's house. <laughs> Shame to it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh so we we started and, and she stops and she goes well hold on i have to ask you something first are you okay like with non-vanilla sex and i i didn't really know what that meant i was like what i was like i mean i prefer vanilla instead of chocolate ice cream like what the fuck do you mean like i don't understand but apparently she meant like vanilla minecraft as in like no mods like plain that's what she meant by vanilla and she's not into vanilla sex and i was like oh i was like yeah i mean whatever i was like what do you want like what what how do you you know like what what do you like to do because i i'm a very like you know whatever i'll do whatever you like and she fucking <laughs> <laughs> she was like hold on one second <laughs> and mind you we're like both basically like naked at this point <laughs> and she's like she just whips out she just goes through her backpack and like no she, i mean she might have been but uh, no no i don't think so she she pulled out this like rug and like fucking <sighs> and like whipped out this rug and it just pulled out all these like torture tools like is is what it looked like to me it, there was like a whip that said like spank me on it or i'm sorry a paddle that said spank me that there was like a little whip thing with like like a nine tails whip there was like handcuffs there was like literally just there was like a lighter there was like every like possible like bondage toy like you could possibly imagine i was like uh I don't know about that, because I have never, like, done any of that stuff yet. Sounds like a good time for my husband. Yeah, well, this was my... Remember, I was, like, 20. I, I actually didn't start having sex until I was, like, 17? 17 or 18? So, I was still kind of relatively new to sex as I went into my slut phase. So, like, 19 years strong? Fuck yeah, dude. Which, also, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but either way um yeah so i was still kind of new and i was like oh i don't really i don't really know i was like i'll do it whatever and she's like no no, no i don't want she was like no i don't want to do it to you i want you to do it to me so that was kind of like oh oh <sighs> thank god you know but here's the thing and here's why i'm like kind of fucked up from it she was like <laughs> she was like uh i would have been going ham that's that's the, <laughs> that's the problem is she won't uh, it started out she was like i just want you to fucking hit me that's what i like and i was like oh, okay uh, she's like no fucking hit me i'm like okay uh she's like no like seriously fucking hit me and i was like okay boom and she was like no like fucking punch me and i was like okay I just started like beating the shit <laughs> I just started like just fucking wailing on this bitch <laughs> and she was like yes yeah, harder she just like the only word like and we had talked about safety words oh which the reason why she's called koala girl is because she told me her safety word is koala we never even got to an animal the only thing she said was harder, like faster, like, like I apparently don't know how to hit people, but she will like left my house bruised, and she was like, <laughs> waiting for a bitch to tell me that. <laughs> I mean, good luck. I, I, <laughs> the moans from that room must have been hilarious. I mean, they probably were. But I was just like wailing on this bitch and I felt like like it fucked me up because like in in a weird way it like kind of felt like I was almost raping her. <laughs> Which is like so weird to say but like that's what it felt like and I didn't I didn't like it because I was like I was really drunk I was just fucking punching this girl as hard as I could. And I mean, yeah, she, like, loved it or whatever. She did ask for it, yeah. It was all consented, like... Even if that, like, she tries to cancel me years later or whatever, like... 
it's not gonna happen right like it's whatever but like oh my god like i still feel so bad about it and she ended up stalking me actually <laughs> i actually <laughs> i blocked her after she left that night <laughs> Because I was like, I'm not doing this again. Like, I don't, I was not comfortable with that. Which, like, I mean, later down the line, I did find another person that was more, like, eased me into it. And it was fine. But, like, oh my god, dude. Yeah, that shit fucked me up. And so I blocked her. I ghosted her. And then she actually ended up stalking me. She was ordering pizza from my store. She was like, send Nick. Send Nick. Because she loved it, dude. She loved it. She loved it. And I was like, get away from me. <laughs> oh, but I haven't I haven't heard or seen from her in a while. But that, that's the koala girl story. Your mom's traumatized from hearing that? I mean, probably. Fuck, dude. I hope she's not watching Ellen still. She's probably watching The Bachelor. But, yeah. I definitely... I mean, I don't think I fucked her up. She was like... She liked it. She fucked me up. If anything. <laughs> like, I don't... Like, it fucked me up for life. Which is why not in the head. Apparently not. Oh, like her body? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah. It was bad. It was bad. Anyways, I need to finish this quiz. <laughs> that was my koala girl story. <laughs> and why, and <laughs> maybe that'll give some insight un onto my questions of this quiz. I enjoy it when people watch me being, uh, no. I mean, well, okay. Nobody's ever watched me be naked, right? But here's the thing. Have you ever like banged and like you look over and there's like a mirror there? that's happened before and I love that and like I've talked about doing an OnlyFans before it's probably yes I'll say yes <laughs> not that I'm just gonna whip my dick out in any given circumstance but it's kind of like powering in a way to be like yeah you watch me fuck this bitch <laughs> I need to stop talking. <laughs> Trey, why did you send me this? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Ideally, I could command my partner and they'd obey you. Like a putt. No, I don't like that. See, like, I, I like being told what to do. Or, like, I'd rather just help. I'd rather just pleasure the other person. I don't really care. If I get pleasure out of it, cool. I don't like making sexual decisions. I prefer my partner. Yes, 100%. That's what I just, that's literally what I just said. That's me. I love making my partners do really disgusting things purely for my own pleasure. What's the grossest thing you've ever done? Yeah, you get cucked. <laughs> I was actually the one fucking, <laughs> fucking Sneeko's girlfriend. <laughs> I was like, you fucking take it! So like, you sit there and you watch! <laughs> <laughs> I love making my po- uh, What? What? No. I don't like to- Oh, anyways, what's the most disgusting thing you've ever done? Probably nothing. Nothing. Probably the most thing- Disgusting thing I've done has been like, I don't care if I didn't take a shower. We're having sex right now. Which is like, I don't think I've ever even said that. <laughs> but I, I know I've had sex like after a long work day and like not showering. Like that's probably the grossest thing I've done. Like I'm a very clean person. So that's a strong no. I'm going to try, oh yes, one we just went through that story. I definitely, even if I don't think I'll like it, just get me fucking high enough and I'll be like, okay, sure you can put that in my butt, I guess. <laughs> Physically restricting my partner during sex BDSM is arousing. Uh, kind of. See, this one's interesting because before I would have been like, no, that's too weird. And then, yeah, Koala Girl happened, and I was like, yeah, no, that's a definite no. But now, kind of a yes. Kind of a yes. Kind of a yes. I don't know why. But let's just say yes. Said RR and 
in a Lola's voice. I didn't know what that was when I did it. Oh no. You. I still don't know what that is, but that's okay. I don't know what that is. It's because I don't watch hentai. <laughs> it's because you pervert. <laughs> I like sending nude or sexual pictures to myself. Wait, does anybody send nudes to themselves? Um, I don't know if this is a yes, cause like, no, like I don't, but if somebody asks, I immediately do it. I, I've definitely told the picture of me sending the dick pic to that guy in high school. I did send a, oh my God, wait, do you guys even know about that? Maybe you guys haven't heard about that story. There was a there was a gay guy in my junior year of high school, basically long story short, who uh who told me that he lost his phone. Like we were really good friends. We went and saw a movie together. He told me he he lost his phone. Um but his phone was still texting me and he was like Facebook messaging me, like totally different things. And the person texting me on his phone, which I'm pretty sure was still him, was like, "Oh, I'm this I'm this girl from school, like, I think you're really cute, like, I would love to date you, like, send me a picture of your dick, or else I'm not giving Robbie his phone back. And I was like, <laughs> no. And Robbie was like, please, can you please send her the picture of your dick? I really need my phone back, my mom's gonna kill me. And I was like, yeah, bro, I gotcha. Just went right upstairs and fucking sent that shit. <laughs> and then he stopped talking to me. So, <laughs> so that was another, that's another story. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that story is actually on my YouTube, unfortunately, but now so this one, so will Koala Girl, so. <laughs> I like to be totally helpless and at my partner's disposal, physically unable to resist what they do. Yes. Unless they like tie me up. Okay, maybe not definite, yes. Receiving care, being spoiled, etc. are some of the main things I'm looking for in a relationship. Yes, give me a sugar daddy, please. Or a sugar mommy, I guess I should say. Robbie Jack in it in your bathroom <laughs> when you say that. When you did that, oh, yes, please send me more. Oh yeah, no, 100%. 100%. Well, and then I dated this lesbian girl, and she was like, oh, my gay friend used to do that all the time. He used to always trick straight guys into sending, like, dick pics. And I was like, well, there you have it. <laughs> but I don't know if she just said that to make me feel better or not. <laughs> Ever think for large age differences? Uh, I don't know about that. But, like, if, I mean, I'm not, like, you know... If, if you two make each other happy and it's not illegal, then who cares, right? And now that I'm older and have kids, I'm definitely, like, I've stopped looking up, like, 19-year-old porn, and I'm looking up, like, MILF porn, you know? So I guess, whatever, dude. <laughs> That's how you know you've grown up, is when you start looking up MILF porn instead of the, instead of the teenage porn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> my ex was funny when I was 18, so I don't know. That's fair. I mean, I usually date... I Well, yeah, I've only really actually dated and slept with people that are in my age group. Even if I've gone after people way out of my age group, like, I usually, I guess, also tend to stay around my age. When it comes to sexual acts, my partner's discomfort is pretty much irrelevant, and if it gives me more pleasure... No. No. If they're uncomfortable, that's fucked up. Right? Is that what that means? Yeah, fuck that. I don't want them to be uncomfortable. If I'm uncomfortable, I'll kind of rock with it. And I'll tell them later, can we not do that next time? I enjoy- Ew, what? I enjoy playing or acting like a pet animal? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's a no. Shout out to all my furry homies, but I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> I mean, doggy style. Does that count? No, no. I'm saying no. I'm saying no. I cannot. I cannot pretend to be an animal. That would be weird. 
giving care spoil at least to me giving care spoiling my partner is one of the main things uh not really but i mean back when i was a general manager that's what i did so let's just say it's slightly agree strongly slightly agree <laughs> being treated with little to no or no respect uh i have no opinion on that it just depends on the situation i guess right there's no reason why sex god dude we're only 22 percent <laughs> There's no reason why sex would have to happen in private spaces isolated from the outside world. Wait, what? There's no reason why sex would have to happen in private spaces. What does that mean? There is no reason why sex would have to happen in private spaces isolated from the outside world. Like, does that say I want to have sex outside? Because... I've never had sex outside. There's no reason why sex would have to happen to private. Yeah. I mean, I don't have an opinion on that. I would just say, like, don't do it in front of the kids. <laughs> I'll often put up a fight in bed, but that doesn't mean I want to win that fight at all. Yeah. Okay, I'll slightly agree with that. But remember, I like people... Oh my goodness. What is that? Oh, is that your results? You're 100% vanilla? Damn, what the fuck? What is rope buddy? Okay, hold on. We gotta compare results. I find the romantic aspect. You, damn, you finished. You, you cheated. You were doing your test while I was telling my koala girl story. I find the romantic aspect in a relationship much more important than the sexual or kinky aspects. Don't be ridiculous. What the fuck? Who likes who likes who likes the actual relationship more than the sex? That's absolutely absurd. Just kidding. I mean that's probably <laughs> <laughs> You're a basic bitch. Oh, you took this weeks ago? Okay. Currently have a master slash mid no, I don't. I wish I did. <laughs> I would like to serve in a formal setting with explicit slave training. Physical Prescribe physical no no that's weird especially because you use the word slave i don't like that my ultimate goal in life is to please my partners and there's hardly anything i wouldn't that's true that's 100 percent true i'm always about like i need to pleasure the other person i have a need to constantly try new things the sexual routine would never make me happy that's not true oh and that's it's not just a sexual thing though I have to have a routine for everything. I do have a sexual routine, but it's only if the the other person doesn't like do anything. So I guess I'll do like, meh. I'll do a meh. I'll do a meh. Assuming I was single, I would like to join an existing couple or poly group's relationship for sexual and or emotional purposes. Uh, I mean, I don't really care. It would just depend on where I am in life. I don't think I would ever do an emotional purpose, but somebody was like, hey, wanna just, wanna cuck my husband? Or I mean, <laughs> oh, I guess that's probably right. Wanna, wanna cuck us for a second? I'd be like, yeah, sure, whatever. My best friend's results are 100% dominant, 100% master. Damn, 80% vanilla. What is voyeur? Non-monogamous sadist, okay. Well, we're gonna- and then you're gonna send them my results, right? Being physically restricted during sex, BDSM, when clothes, attributes, root ch chains is arousing? No, I mean, I don't think so, but... I mean, if the person is like- if I know the person and they're they're like... really begging me to, I'll be like, okay. But I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna go out of my way to be like, hey, tie me up, daddy. I enjoy feeling like a prey hunted by a predator. <laughs> that is the worst way to put that, but yes. <laughs> I guess so. That's kind of hot. <gasps> oh, I don't have any sort of specific fetish. No, don't be ridiculous. I mean, doesn't everybody? Everybody has a fetish. If you don't know what your fetish is, you haven't figured it out yet. That probably is your fetishes. You don't like fetishes. 
Those are my best friend's results. Oh, okay. Being part of a group of slaves that serves one master slash mistress sounds like a life that would really suit me. Why does it keep saying slaves? No. Like, I basically am at working at Amazon. I don't like that. I don't like to be completely tied up. No. But again, if they're like, please, I guess I'd be like, whatever, but slightly disagree. He'll do what? Oh no. Oh no, what did you do? <laughs> you set me up. I enjoy being kept as a pet in a cage eating out of a bowl? Ew. No thanks. Again, shout out to all my furry homies, but that's not me. So I guess I'll do like, eh. I'll do a meh. I guess I'll do like. <laughs> I'll do a meh. A meh. A meh. <laughs> a middle. I love seeing the fear in my partner's eyes when they know I'm going. Oh, yeah, uh. No, see, that's that's where I got traumatized. I can't. I don't like that. If they want me to do that, that's fine. But I'm gonna like. I'll be like, like this the whole time. I'll be like, yeah. You take that, bitch. <laughs> uh, I'll just slightly disagree. <laughs> I like to be sexually degraded. No. Oh my god. I mean, there there's times where like that just kind of happens naturally. But like, I don't like it. But I will laugh sometimes, I guess. I'll gladly leave everything behind, including moving across the globe if I have to, for the BDSM life of my dreams. No. I wouldn't do that. I think that's a waste. I mean, unless it would somehow give me money to live, then it would automatically become a yes, but like, if it's just strictly for the BDSM part, no. I enjoy playing a different age than what I technically am? No. We've talked about that. OnlyFans, dude? Yeah, I need to- I- I need to do an OnlyFans. Basically. And then, if I had an OnlyFans, I would 100% move across the country. If it was successful in, like, somewhere else. <laughs> I like to be nothing but a 24-7 sex slave. Yes. No, that sounds sick as fuck. That sounds sick as fuck. Wait. Who would say no to that? Are you kidding me? And I, I've been against the word slave this whole time, but put the word sex in front of it? Whole different meaning. Sex slave? And like not having any human interaction? That sounds sick. Besides sex? Like the only time you see humans is just the fuck? That'd be kind of sick. That's basically like Amaranth. Just kidding. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> <gasps> Treating my partner with little to no respect during sex slash BDSM arouses me? No. Wait. No. 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 See, because this is also where I got fucked up. No. But if they want me to, I'm not going to be like... No. Don't fucking don't scare me like that. Blue plays. Thank you though. For the <laughs> I hope I hope the nine isn't doesn't mean that you're nine years old because this is inappropriate and you should not be watching. I like being forced into submission. Much more than submitting spontaneously. That would be yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> if I read that correctly, I think that's a yes. I would like it when my partner is completely tied up. Uh, she's 21, dude. Don't worry. Oh, okay. She's a friend of mine. Okay, okay. Okay, don't, don't scare me like that. 
Don't scare me like that. I feel like, Trey, I feel like you know everybody in the entire planet, and you've done every single thing that anybody could ever possibly do. I feel like any, any, <laughs> I learn something new about you every day. <laughs> I like it when my partner is completely tied up during sex slash BDSM. Uh, I, get, I, I mean, I don't care. If they want to, sure, but I'm not going to go out of my way to be like, Hey, hey, you need to be tied up. <laughs> like, that's weird to me. I have plenty of sexual fantasies that I would like to try out more than most of my kinky peers. I guess so. I mean, because I've dated a lot of people where, like, I've been like, I wanted, like, let's make a porn. They're like, no. Or I'm like, can I titty fuck you? And they're like, no. <laughs> So, I guess so. I guess I'll say yes. What do you remember about me? You voiced in a hentai. <laughs> you made a game that I bought. What do I currently do for a living? Don't test me because I don't know. <laughs> you don't voice in hentai. You do... No, you, you don't work. You, you go to college. You go to art school. 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 <laughs> and you take commissions. <laughs> right? I don't know what the fuck you do, dude. Don't test me on that. <laughs> I, so you like my confidence, though? Oh, I'm correct! Because I knew I was correct! <laughs> Get fucked. I find it adorable when my partner acts or dresses- Ew, no. I have children. Ew! Ew! No. Ew, I have children. No thanks. I could be sexually submissive now and be so Do you like the splunky music in the background, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I can be sexually submissive now and be sexually dominant another time to another partner? I mean, yeah, it, it it's whatever, dude. Whatever, whatever's floating the boat, whatever's rocking the old bed, I guess. What are my parents? I have referenced this in chat. What are your parents? What do you mean, what are your parents? Hmm. I think I got this. Divorced. <laughs> <laughs> As in, what do they do? Oh. Oh. Um, they also do not voice in a hentai. <laughs> Wrong. Oh, shit. I'm willing to pay for porn if really... No. You should never pay for porn. Even if it's an OnlyFans. You should only pay for my OnlyFans that I haven't started up yet. They aren't divorced? Oh. I don't know who's... Well, oops. <laughs> Somebody else is in the chat. Probably probably divorced. My parents are divorced, so... it'll. It, I was right in one sense of the way. <laughs> totally cool my partner's having sex with other people. I mean... No, but if they're, like, open to it and, like, talk to me about it, then yeah. So, indifferent. I guess. Like, it just depends on who you're with. And, like, if you're being talkative and communicative they're oil tycoons that's right oh that's right that's right i remember now i remember now because you were talking about uh money one time because oil i remember i do slightly remember that but apparently not enough for this situation <laughs> an ideal relationship my partner would see me as a mere object no. That's some Andrew Tate shit. No thanks. Making my partner suffer for my pleasure is one of the best things in life. No. <laughs> no. I mean, unless I hate them. No, I'd say no. Living with a group of slaves owned by me and serving me would be my ultimate... I mean, I have talked about... I think I've talked about on stream before how I would love to have my own cult. Which is probably not a good thing to say to new followers, but... <laughs> I mean... What is the worst commission I've ever taken? Is it, is, is it not the hentai one? Fuck. 
fuck dude i know you've told me that i know you've told me that too i definitely forgot was i high when you told me that correct answer probably living with a group of slaves oh no i mean that's not my my ultimate life goal is to adopt a giraffe so no that wasn't a commission that was a long-term job oh oh i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember but i know you've told me i know you've told me because i i know i asked that like what's the worst job you've taken or whatever what's the worst voice acting job but i i don't think it was voice acting it's no big deal when i when things i try to turn out bad for me it's part of the risk and that, yeah correct correct just like the koala girl it wasn't a big deal i just it was just annoying that she stalked me for like a few weeks I'm currently in a long-term relationship, ha, huh, as of a year ago, maybe, but not anymore, ha, huh, thanks, quiz, for making me sad, just kidding, <laughs> I have, a uh, plenty of sexual fantasies, which would at the very least be unethical to execute, what, what does that mean, Un unethical to execute? No. I don't think so. Like, killing somebody? No. I like to provide my partners with explicit slave training? No. That's... no. In questionnaires like these, I tend to go for the extreme answers rather than... no. I'm always going to go for the middle answers. I enjoy keeping my partner as a pet? No. Sorry, shout out to my furry homies. But no. <laughs> Having to do a... Oh, that's right, Tracer. Cause, cause it was, cause it was Potato's friend, right? <laughs> cause we were looking up if it was Potato's friend, Jorge, or whatever, George. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh fuck, dude. <laughs> How do I remember that part? Man, he's only six bucks on the internet. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, dude. I forgot you did Overwatch stuff. That's what it was. Oh, Widowmaker. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. My my brain's a little jotted from fatty liver. It's fine. <laughs> if, I, if I could not fulfill all of my partner's sexual desires, I would encourage them to see other people fill the gaps? N I, no, I would be like, no, I've never done that. That's where, like, people think that I'm, like, not into open relationships. But again, it's like, if you are like, hey, I'm not getting sexually aroused, would you... We'd, would you like to add another person? I'd be like, okay. Like, you have to talk to me first, but I would not, like... I'd rather you be like, hey, if you can you try it this way first? I guess. But, like, I guess I don't care. Well, okay, so then let's move it there. Whatever, shut up. My partner having multiple partners while I'm not... Except for threesomes or the, sounds like a perfect... Yeah, I mean, again, slightly disagree, but not absolutely. Like, I'd rather not, but I'm not, like, totally declined to it. I'd just rather us be both open and honest. Boom! I am often behave in animal- no. I do not- <laughs> Don't tell me- do, do you or your friend who took this howl- growl or howl during sex? Because that would scare me. If I was banging a bitch and she was just like, oh, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. What are you doing? I'd be like, the the dogs are gonna start barking. What are you doing? For do I have a kid? No, you have a niece, right? Or a nephew. I don't think you have a kid. But I'm probably wrong. That feels like a trick question, but I thought I thought you Whatever, dude. I think it's no. I th I, th I thought you talked about like a niece or something. Oh, correct! Boom, 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 boom! <coughs> That's what my gun sounds like. Boom, boom, boom! <coughs> Start shooting and I just get caught up in the smoke. <laughs> in an ideal relationship, I should have no hard limits. My life should belong to my partner and they, sh and they should decide what is good for me. I mean, that's basically what I do. I shouldn't do that. I don't think that's an ideal relationship, but that's what I do all the time and why I end up in the situations I end up in. 
so I'm going to say slightly no. I guess. I'll go a long way to make an appearance to match my partner's desires. 100%. That kind of goes along with that. Like, that's, like, yeah. Like, I should agree, because that's, like, what I do, but I don't think I should be doing that. <laughs> If part of my sexual desires are not f fulfilled by my partner, I would want to see other people fill the gaps? No. But like, if she is like, hey, I need another person, I'd be like, open to it, you know? Five, what is my sister to me? Your BFF, basically. I don't know. I don't know that one. I don't think you've talked bad about your sister though. From what I recall, but I honestly don't remember. I enjoy feeling like a predator hunting its prey. Uh... I mean, yeah, I, I like the other way around a lot more, but... Both are fine. Both are kinda hot. Both are kinda hot. Wrong! The crank dancer is dead?! Shit. <laughs> Oh, wait, I think, I think I do remember that, because then did I, no, never mind. I was going to say, I probably, she's dead to me. I feel like I don't remember that. I'm trying to remember, but I don't think I actually remember that. Like when my partner takes on nurturing and guiding almost parental role in a relationship? No, I'm my own person. I'm my own adult. I enjoy watching other people being naked. No, I am not Sneeko. I like my parents to submit me to me 24 seven. I'm willing to take the responsibility that comes with it. Oh, partners. I don't know why I said parents. <laughs> eh, that's just kind of whatever the situation is. She banned my nephew at school. Oh, that's what it was. Yes. That's yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Because then didn't you go pick her up? Or pick up the, your nephew? And then I made a bad joke. <laughs> I remember now. I, that's, that's, that is now coming back to me, yes. I like my partners to... Yes, <laughs> I, I, I do remember that. Because it was like hours, right? Like It was like hours away or something. I like my partners to be completely in charge in the bedroom, ordering me around. Depends, but I'd rather them, I'd rather me not be the one bossing them around, for sure. I'd rather them boss me around. If I could make some money from selling porn, oh yes, we've, we talk about this all the time. Yes. I'm just not hot enough. <laughs> oh, he was left there for hours? Yeah, well, well, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Like, like it took way too long to get there. Because weren't you at, like, you were, like, doing something. So you couldn't even, like, get there right away. I think. I don't know why I'm trying to put words into your mouth. You look plenty hot enough. Oh, thanks. Thanks. You're the second person who's called me handsome. Thank you so much. You were at work. I knew it. I thought you were somewhere like work. Being in fear of what my partner is going to do to me physically is around it arousing? Uh, kind of. I mean, there was that one time I went to the sketchy masseuse place, and that was kind of hot. Oh, wait. Uh, I mean nothing. <laughs> I feel the need to serve my partner and treat them. <laughs> With the highest respect, addressing them as a superior? Not really. Talking back to one's dominant in a teasing, disobeying way should be part of the sub's fun. Uh. What? <laughs> you fucking what? Talking back to one's dominant in a teasingly, disobeying way should be part of the sub's fun. I mean, it, that's just probably a situational thing. When it comes to sexual acts, my own discomfort is pretty much irrelevant if it allows me to give my partner more pleasure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It had kind of the opposite. Like, I don't care if I'm uncomfortable. Well, I guess I do. I'll probably be like, look, 
I we need to switch or something but like I'd rather me be uncomfortable than the other person I don't need physical pleasure from sex if my partner is enjoying it that's all I need exactly exactly I've had some awkward times where like only the other person has been pleasured and not me or I mean well yeah I guess that, that is what I mean <laughs> and I've just been totally okay with that I enjoy verbally degrading my partner or calling that no I don't I don't like that but I'll do it sometimes watching people have sex is more fun than participating I mean if I just want to watch porn and jack off sure Depends on the situation, I guess. Uh, I'll say slightly. I'll say slightly no, though. Well, no, nah, I'll say indifferent. Cause remember the mirror thing. You gotta bang and look in the mirror. It's kind of hot. I enjoy it when my partner plays or acts like no. <laughs> Eighty-two percent. God, dude, this is the longest quiz. <laughs> Not taking a long time to go through it. I gotta speed run it. I like to be completely in charge in the bedroom and order my partners around. No. But if they want me to do that, sure. So neutral. The idea of being tortured sexually is appealing? No. Because I got kind of traumatized from that, from like this book I read, where it was talking about putting like hot candle wax in, in a pee hole. I don't like that. I don't like that. I know that's not like what tortured sexually exactly is, but like... I, I would be so scared because like there was one time where I was just having like straight up normal sex and the girl was just on top of me and like it, it like my left ball went inside of me and then like popped back out and it really fucking hurt so I'm like scared that if I get tortured too hard like my penis would break <laughs> <So> <laughs> anyways <laughs> having to do really disgusting things for my partner no I mean no no, I don't like really discussing things. I remember I'm a clean, I am a clean being. I'd be willing to leave everything I have behind to live the BDSM life in my dreams. Didn't it already ask me that? We'll say slightly yes. Cause yeah, if I had the opportunity, I guess I would. <sighs> if it gave me money. I like inflicting pain. No, I mean, I don't like doing it, but I like getting it, right? I cannot always be dominant or always submissive. I need to be both. Sure, I mean, that just depends on the situation. Again, I like to dominate my partners. Uh, depends. Easy, dude. Lots of middles towards the end here. Kind of like at the beginning. I like to sexually degrade and or humiliate my... No, I don't. Unless they ask for it. Nah. I will naturally take on a nurturing and guiding almost parental role in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, I guess so. I've always been very, like, a mature, like, parental kind of guy, I guess, but... Yeah. I'll say yeah. The idea of torturing someone sexually is appealing? No. But if they want me to, I'm not gonna say no. My partner would really enjoy using me as a urinal? I would happily let them. Danny Brown talked about this once on his podcast. He said, he said he's done it. And he said it, he was like really fucked up when he did it and he loved it. And like, honestly, isn't that just what squirting is? Um. God, if they really, I mean, I'd probably be like. I'd probably be like, yeah, but you gotta get me fucked up, dude. I'll do a slight disagree. There's no way pee is that bad. And like, I'm not gonna, I probably wouldn't drink it. I probably wouldn't drink it. I'd probably, I'd be like, can we do that in the shower? Can you pee on me in the shower? Is what I'd probably say. <laughs> <laughs> I like to submit to my partner 24-7. Eh. I don't have an opinion on that. I guess so. If they'll pay for my bills, I will submit to them. As long as they're not mean to me, you know? I want my partner to serve me and address me as a superior. I... Nah, no. 
I don't feel superior to anybody, so no. That would be nice, though. I enjoy dressing or behaving like a child or engaging in child... No, 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 no. I have kids, so that's weird. Oh, is, are, there, are these literally the last three questions? This is so exciting. I enjoy being verbally degraded or being called humiliating names. No, I don't, actually. I don't even like it when people call me my normal name. I don't like talking, so like... I know a lot of people like it, but I don't... I don't really like just... I just like penis in the vagina. Like, that's enough for me. I want to meet more like-minded, kinky people and I'm willing to put effort into that. Yes. <gasps> Though, tr Trey, you tricked me. This is a dating site. <laughs> <laughs> the last question. <laughs> uh, No. Don't send me emails. If a new awesome kink or BDSM project was launched, I would like to be kept up to date. No. What do we do this? Optional step. Step is optional. Feel free to skip it. Indicate eat for each arch type how well it suits you. They're randomly selected. Don't overthink this. Should I do this part? I mean, I'm going to, I guess. But it's apparently optional. Daddy slash mommy. Daddy and mommy's take on a caretaker role in the relationship, being a guide as much as dominant. Daddy and mommies dominate their little treasure, submissive with an iron fist, velvet glove, much cuddly and affectionate on the outside, while being as sturdy as hard on the inside as other dominants, using subtle psychological mechanisms rather than brute power. I guess so. Neutral slash no opinion. Degradies like to be degraded and humiliated. To yeah, I, I don't like that, but I'm not against it. Submissive, likes to follow, yes, that's what I like. That's more what I like. Slave, no. Brat tamer? Also a slight no. That's what I think. Oh! Here are my results. What is an exhibitionist? Oh, I just like to show people my dick. <laughs> I don't send dick pics though. That's, I mean, except for that one time. Typically pair up with voyeurs? What is a voyeur? Wasn't your friend a voyeur? Oh shit, dude, let me read the chat. No, Brad Tamer 73, oh, voyeur 2%. <laughs> can I copy this? Copy all. Here, I'll paste it in chat so we can see it too.